I have no makeup on, obviously. I, you can see I took off all of my lashes, my mascara, everything. When I apply my falsies, I leave them on for probably about a week. It's so bad, but I do. I leave them on for probably about a week. So this is what I do first. I take my Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. It is not waterproof. You can see my eyelashes are completely platinum, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I give my real lashes a good couple of coats. So even if I wasn't going to wear falsies, I would do that anyway. There's something on my lash wand here. Um, because I love big, voluminous, bold lashes, I think that playing up our eyes is like the most important part of our face, our eyes and our brows. All right, so I also don't use um, waterproof mascara anymore because I find that then when I go to wash it off, it rips my eyelashes out and I don't want that. So the only time that I use anything that's waterproof or mascara that's waterproof is if I'm going to be like swimming or going to the ocean or maybe at a funeral or something like that um, when I know that I just need a little bit of extra staying power. So what I do is this. I apply this, and if you don't know, and I didn't know, give me some hearts if you know what stamping is. Does anyone know what stamping is when it comes to this? I've learned so much over the last two years from joining Saint. All right, so stamping is when you go like this and you go to the base of your lashes and you wiggle back and forth and you fill in in between your lashes, but you also can do that with your eyeliner and I do it with actually with my uh, liquid liner, which I will show you. So stamping is literally filling in in between the lashes at the base to make them look more bold. So I really take my time and make sure I touch every single one of my little lashes because it really adds to um, the look once you add your falsies. So if you guys wanna know what falsies I use, the glue and everything, in my stories, I linked everything this morning. Um, I didn't link this, but this you can get anywhere. Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. It really just, it doesn't clump up or ball up or fall off or flake or anything like that. And I found I've used so, I've wasted so much money on mascara over the years, but I really enjoy this one. I also used one, I got it Ulta once. I think it was, it was so stu, I don't spend money, so like don't judge me, but it was, I think Dior or something, it was perfumed. And I wouldn't do that now because I don't use that kind of stuff now for health reasons, but that was really cool to have. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do one more coat on there, but I'm gonna, I wanna show you first what I use. So I bought this before at, um, on Amazon. This is linked to my stories. And these are those teeny tiny little segmented pieces. Now I apply these on top of my lashes because I get, I get styes when I do them underneath, but these are actually meant to be applied underneath your lash line because then they look um, more natural. So you would glue along your, your water line there, glue on here, and then actually like pop them underneath and fill in that way. Always start on the outside and work your way in. We aren't using these today. I don't have that many of them left. So I'm gonna show you what I use now. This came with this glue that I've been using and it came with these tweezers. This stinking thing right there. But normally I use Kiss white or clear lash glue. I also linked that in my stories if you wanna go grab that. So these are the lashes I've been using right now. These are Dell Naked Lashes. I'm gonna show you like this. And they last me a really long time because I am a smaller person. I have small round eyes. I cannot use an entire lash um, strip on my eyes. So I use one of these for both of my eyes. I cut it in half. Also, I'm always trying to create like the almond shaped eye, right? Like the, the cat eye. So when I apply lashes, I only apply them to the outer half of my lid anyway. So this works out perfectly for me. When I apply a lash strip the whole way over, number one, the longest part of the lashes are going to be up here. So it makes your eyes more open in the middle, which makes my round eyes look even rounder. And that is what I don't want to do. 
Um, number two, it um, they tickle and drive me flipping insane when they touch in here and then they wind up lifting. And since my lids are so rounded, they don't like forming to the shape of my lid. So if you saw this, I just touched myself with mascara. If you ever do that, even after your makeup is applied, just wait until it dries. Take a spoolie and just flick it off. It'll come right off and you don't mess up your makeup or anything. You don't have to retouch anything. Okay. So I'm going to try to make this not an hour long. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to peel off one of these strips and I will tell you this. So right in the middle, like I was saying, is the longest lash. When you cut these directly in the middle, it's not just you. <laughs> it's not just you. When you cut these directly in the middle, there is not um, the direct center. There isn't a really long lash on one side and a really long lash on the other. The direct center is the one really long lash. So you wind up having to cut out and try to only cut the strip and not the lashes themselves. So I try to like lay them down next to one another and see, like my nose, my nose been driving me crazy, and see which one has the longer lash. And then I will go in and, uh, and trim it off. So like this one, right? Can you guys see this? This one right here, this would look crazy on the outer edge of my eye. It would probably stick straight out. So then I'll go in and I'll just trim, don't trim the lash, trim down here at the strip. I hope you guys can see that. You wanna get rid of as much of that as possible. So I'm gonna leave the one that's bending the right way and just trim. You can do this with smaller scissors too if you're smarter than I am. And so now I have this perfect shape lash to go over here, all right? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trim the other one really quick because I have the same issue over here. It's super long. It's a little cattywampus over here. I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm just gonna trim that a little bit right there. We never want our lashes to just be flat. We never wanna trim them. They're supposed to look natural, right? And be all different lengths and craziness. So here we go. It's hard to do this live. So I have the glue. I'm going to take this. And then since what I don't like is that this is black, I wear liquid liner. So for me, it's okay. But this is going to look like liquid liner. So I'm only going to apply this where I'm going to apply my lashes. And that's going to be for me just on this outer half. So basically, wherever your your center is your highest point and then you want to go from the outside of that straight down along your lash line just right against it and then for double security you want to do your lashes also so i do it i hope you guys can see this i do it along the bottom of the lash line and then i do it kind of on the back too i just kind of like paint it just a little bit wherever it's going to lay kind of against my lashes. So insurance, right? We don't want to be out somewhere, our lash like hanging out like this, flapping in the wind. Did you guys see the reel where the girl in the car and her huge lashes are like, you know, blinding her, right? We don't want that going on. So I'm going to grab, these are great. I have plenty of regular tweezers. These do a much better job. Sometimes I have to make sure that I get the gunk off of there so it doesn't stick to the lashes. If it sticks to the lashes, when you try to apply them, it's just gonna pull them off and it's just craziness. So make sure they're clean. And I kind of grab them like out toward the end. You wanna make sure that you grab them in a spot where you're gonna be able to apply a little bit of pressure, but also, also so that they're not so close to the bottom of the lash line that it doesn't allow you to lay them against your lashes. All right, so we did that. I'm gonna need a little mirror here. And I'm going to just lay it down like that. I just realized I don't have enough lash glue on. I didn't go over far enough with my lash glue. Let's try this again. All right, so the trick is when applying lashes is that to make sure you wait until your lash glue is sticky. I tried to apply lashes for like 10 years I swear you and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it and I was like what is going on they were always moving around they would never stick you have to wait until this is sticky and this is a little bit tacky like 
15, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and then they will stick together perfectly. All right, so when I do this, I lay it down. You wanna kinda of do like the middle first, and then you do one edge, and then you go back over, and you do the other edge, the other side, the other end, whatever you wanna call it. I don't have enough lash glue. I need lash glue all the way over there. So now, I'm just gonna take care of this really quick before it dries. I squeeze them to my lashes. And I'm gonna have to use the mirror for this, but you can see where it's sticking up, where I have like that little hole right there. So I'm going to stick a little bit of lash glue in here in between my lashes. I hope you guys can see this. This is so crazy to do live, but I get so many questions about these and it's hard to like explain to someone how to do this without showing them. So hopefully this sticks. Get it to dry really quick. I like doing this before I do my makeup. I feel like it just adds a little bit of extra confidence when I have my lashes done first. And do that without blinking. There we go. Not too bad, right? So we need to make sure that we are double gluing and then we need to make sure that we're giving it a couple seconds to dry. <laughs> and, um, and that's the ticket, is making sure that they are tacky. I literally like need my glasses to do this. This is so bad. All right, we're gonna do the other side. Hopefully it goes just as semi-smoothly as that one did. But you can see what a difference it makes. And then I'm gonna go over all of it with um, some mascara. So here we go again, right along the lash line. And if you wanna trim them shorter, you can. If you wanna do the whole um, lash strip, you totally can. This is just the way that I found that it works for me and that it lasts for a much longer time because your girl doesn't have the time to be doing her lashes every day. I am not a lash, nail, you know, hair. It's just not me. I just, that's why I like the easy makeup girls because I just have, I only want to take five minutes on myself, seriously. I'm lucky if I file my nails, which happens while I'm sitting right here, like once a week, and that's about the extent of it. I just can't be bothered, to be honest. Um, I want to look good and I want to feel good, but I'm not ever going to go like over and above and beyond unless there's like an event, and that's the bottom line. Okay, here we go. So do this. I'm actually going to pinch this the other way. My left hand is not as great at this as my right hand is. Thank you for the hearts. I can't believe you guys even hang out with me and watch me do this live sometimes. It just amazes me that anyone is ever interested in what I do, <laughs> to be totally honest. All right, so letting this dry. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can do this like this. I need a mirror. All right, and I'm gonna go right down and as far down against my natural lash line as I can go. Then I'm gonna squeeze this side to make sure it's it's not down. I'll pull it back off, we're gonna try again. Oh my gosh. What am I doing here? I'm like confusing myself. I'm gonna try it with this hand. See if it goes better. All the way down, right against your lash line. Oh, see, now my tweezers are sticky. That's where it gets tricky. So I'm against right there. And I gotta pull these babies over a little bit and squeeze them against your lashes. And squeeze them against your lashes. Oh my gosh, now it's lifting up on that side, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back and glue it and mess with it. I remember when I was little, I used to go to my aunt's house a lot and she used to sit with her caboodle. Who, who remembers what a caboodle is? Who's old enough to know? I know what a caboodle is. And she would sit there in her, in her mirror with a safety pin. She had magnificent, she's not alive anymore, God bless her, but she had magnificent eyelashes. 
and she would sit with her uh, mascara and a safety pin and separate every one of her lashes. Her eyes were to die for. Huge blue eyes. My mom has big blue eyes too. Caboodles, yep. Yeah. Um, and, but her lashes were just amazing. And um, it's just something I remember from my childhood. I don't remember a whole lot from my childhood, but I do remember that. So this over here is lifting up. I'm gonna try and apply a little bit of lash glue. Do you see the mess that I'm making? But now I gotta do damage control. So we're gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. A handy dandy Q-tip. And wipe some of this stuff off here. Thank goodness I didn't do my makeup yet. That would have been a little nightmarish. All right, so now we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna see if we can just pop this baby down. The trick is not to blink, right? All right, that one's down. We're just gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna try and put this one down. I guarantee you, if I get on live another day this week, this one will be sticking up. I will be fighting with this all week long. I'm gonna try and press it against my lashes. Pray for me that it stays, my friends. So. You know, they're not perfect. This one kind of comes down, does a beautiful little swoosh. This one's kind of going up that way, but we're not gonna care. We're not gonna go any further, mess with it any longer. We're just gonna apply some mascara now and kind of fill in. And I'm gonna show you what I do with my liquid liner too. So I do apply mascara to um, the lashes. If you spend lots of money and you go and get um, regular, like, good falsies, not falsies, what, what am I looking for? Lash extensions, you are not supposed to apply mascara to them. But my $6.99 pack of um, eyelashes here or whatever it is, I could care less. So I'm gonna apply mascara to them. I probably do need like my aunt's safety pin to pull apart my lashes right in there. I totally touch the side of my nose with my mascara. Um, so we'll just take our spoolie and clean up when we're all done or our Q-tip. But what a difference that makes, right? So I took a picture of myself without my brows or anything done. I'm going to post it before and after. I'll probably post it tomorrow, but, um, go and check that out and look at what a difference it makes to color your brows in a little and to add some lashes add some color to our lashes and just make everything stand out a little bit and then i'm gonna do my makeup i'm gonna get rid of the redness i'm gonna add a little bit of contour so i have some dimension i'm gonna add a little bit of glow to my skin and just feel so much better you know walking around i don't care if anyone else sees me or not because i see me <laughs> that's that's what matters to me is what i feel and i see in the mirror so this is what I do. I just keep playing with this, playing with my mascara, filling it in. And then we do our bottom ones because we have to have some balance. And you see how blonde mine are? All right, you just can barely even see them. So we're gonna color those in a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I keep meaning to buy the Thrive Cosmetics mascara and I know I really should. Um, because the ingredients are better. I just hate to spend the money. I'm, I'm a total budget girl over here. Anything that's affordable but isn't going to kill me. That's what I try and do. All right, so there we go. Our bottom lashes are done. This, this is my waterproof L'Oreal telescopic waterproof liquid liner. And I know that just like contouring liquid liner can be freaking scary because it's just not something we're used to doing. And it, it does take practice, um, but I'll show you what I do. And hopefully I don't stick myself in the eye because it burns like hell when you get it in your eye. So this is what I do, okay? I take it here from the corner. Hold on. First, I gotta get that mascara off of there. And mascara off of there and off of there and wherever else I got it. Okay. So I want to accentuate the entire shape of my eye and make it more cat-like or almond shape. So I'm gonna take this and go from the inner corner and go right along 
my waterline. And then this is where the stamping comes into play. So stamping means I'm gonna go right along my lash line like this and I'm not wiping it because I find that when I wipe it, I do stick myself in the eye. So I'm literally just pressing it against. Can you see that? I'm just pressing it against and stamping it along. And then if I have to, I'll dip back in, put my dipstick back in here. And I always go like this. So I dip it in, I pull it out, and then I go like this and wipe it off because we don't want any clumps going in. All right, and then you can go like this and touch in between your lashes if you need to, if you need to fill in any gaps. And then this, so since my eyes are round, you can see the highest point is right there. I want it to be more sexy. I want to sexify my eye. So I'm going to start at that top high point, but up here on my lash line, and I'm going to pull down this way as I come out toward the outer corner of my eye, I'm not gonna stick to the lash line, I'm gonna come up like on an angle as I go out that way toward the edge, outer edge of my eye. And now the wing, the wing is so tricky. So some people can just go straight out from the corner of their eye. I can't do that because it turns my eye down. I have to keep my wing up higher and like not even out here, my wing just kind of chills like right here. And then I fill in above it. Now I know that this looks a little bold and crazy. I don't normally do this bold of an eye, but I'm not hating it. So I do that and then I kind of backfill. And then I go back and forth with my Q-tip and all of that to try and even it all out. I know it looks a little crazy because I'm doing it live. This is what happens. But, so, go back and forth and then I clean it up. And then I usually make this shorter because I get all self-conscious that it's too long. And it is a job. And that's why I only do it once a week. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna do my full face of makeup and then I'm done. Go to my stories, all the links are there for all this stuff. It's so affordable and just practice. Just practice, practice, practice. Hey Sarah, and um, I promise you, you will get it. So make sure that you have this stuff. Make sure you follow along on this. Make sure the glue is tacky. I promise you that that is the key to it. Making sure the glue is tacky and you know, just doing what you need for your shape eyes. The ones that go underneath, get these. I used to use Lashify. They were so expensive. Every order was like $100. This is $6.99. The link is in my stories. $6.99. So it's so cheap that if you mess up, it doesn't even matter. And there were loads of them in there. And then you can just order more if you need to. Okay. And the glue was in there and the tweezers were in there. Excuse me. It's a whole kit. So go get that. Even if it's $12, whatever it is, it's cheap. Okay, if you need help, let me know. I'm gonna post this to my feed so that you can go and refer back to it.